If you are going to work in any professional capacity, you have to be able to express yourself in a way that connects with other human beings. And one of the things I've played with and the idea of Mike lately, and I'm, I'm saying this, I haven't even, you know, like it's the first time I've said it out loud um, publicly, is I've almost thought about doing a course that teaches young professionals and maybe old professionals how to send business emails because I'm shocked at the level of people don't know how to write a business email. And I teach that to my employees, my younger employees all the time. And I realize nobody in school teaches that. Like, why don't we have a class that teaches how to, the art of sending a business email, especially when so much of our communication is done through, through the written word. So let's talk about that. What is the, uh, you got my attention now. What is the art of sending a, an appropriate business email? it's so it's so contextual right but i have people who write who send business emails and they won't use punctuation because they think it's like texting it's like it's not texting there's an email etiquette <laughs> right or um you know i i i taught a another young friend of mine not an employee uh um but a, a young professional who's starting her translation business and you know she said i see this like bcc what is bcc for Oh, okay. When do you blind carbon copy someone? Right? What is that? That's not a feature most people use or they fully yeah, right. understand or even how to convey lots of information in an email. But writing a two page email is not smart. Be like, what is the action you want people to take? What, <laughs> when is yeah. something due? You know, and when is it appropriate to use email versus Slack versus, you know, getting on the phone with someone? Okay. So I, if you don't mind, I have a couple of personal pet peeves I'm going to ask you about and see what you think about. Okay, them. ask away. Okay, number one, um, subject line. Um, how do you how do you feel about subject lines? Number two, reply to all. Number three, how you begin an email in terms of how you address a person. And lastly, how you end. All those right, four things. Remind me Give of me. those, but I, I'll okay. go through the the email top to Subject bottom. Subject is first. Sounds yeah. like that's where your pet peeves yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If through the whole thing, thing right? Through the whole thing. So the subject <laughs> yeah. line, the hard to please. Will, yeah. The end <laughs> and the sending and the reply to all. Yes. yes. And the sending of it. Yeah. Yes. So uh, reply all. Right. The funny thing is, usually when people are cc'd, it's either a because they need to be cc'd for whatever reason. But so often it's a passive aggressive move and it's such a bad use of the, <laughs> the CC because right. yeah. it's like, I want you to know that I want this person to know what's happening, right? Um, so I think there's like all these kind of political things that, that are at play sometimes. Subject lines, interestingly, you know, it is something that I probably am most guilty of as well which is vague subject lines or continuing a chain without clarifying what that email is about. Um, I actually had a professor in high school, our teacher in high school, and he was amazing because every subject line would be like, you know, um, was so clear. So for example, and I, I don't want to give away his name in case he doesn't want me to share it, but let's say, um, let's call, let's say his last name was Mark. All right. He, his subject line would say, Mark says hello to Shema. <laughs> like, Mark recommends, <laughs> you know, these resources for Shema. And I would like, I'd be like, these are, so, but they're so great because they're so easy to find, catalog. And, uh, and it's something that I wish that I was even better at. And I took the time to tweak the subject line each time. I do think it makes a difference. Um, what else? How you should address someone. You know, I think that's very contextual. If you are writing to your colleague, your friend, I think it's fine to say, hey, Mike, right? yeah. totally acceptable. I do think sometimes we struggle because it's like, I want to be polite, but then you end up with a lot of like, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Might not be necessary. right? Yeah. But, yeah. And so I think you end up with some sort of filler stuff.